Hello, CCS. It is good to be with you again this week on the Eagle Express. First things first, I want to say congratulations to all of our middle school boys and girls on their championships. Last week, our middle school girls soccer won our league championship. Uh, that is seven in a row. They have been absolutely dominant. Uh, seven in a row over the past eight years because, of course, we didn't play in the spring of 2020 because of COVID. Our middle school boys, they won our first baseball championship in school history at the middle school boys level. And so congratulations to all of those players, coaches, uh, and parents. Job well done. We are so proud of you. Uh, great job, uh, everybody that was involved. Uh, this week, there are really two events that I want to talk about um, that are coming up here at CCS. There are many events. Please do look at the calendar below, the events guide that we have sent out. Uh, there's a lot going on in the next couple of weeks, but there are two things that I want to speak about specifically. First, this Thursday, we are hosting uh, a Raising Sturdy Kids Parent Seminar, and we really do hope to see just about every family uh, at CCS come out and, and partake in that seminar together. You know, as a parent of, of five kids myself, one of the things that I recognize is that I am not the only influence in my kids' lives. Uh, their teachers, their church leadership and Bible class teachers, their family, their friends at school and in the community, their friends' parents, all of these people come together to influence the way my kids view the world and the way that your kids view the world. And so at school here at Coventry, we recognize that it is really important to try and establish at least a baseline um, of commonality among our families, some common language, maybe some common ideas, maybe even some common practices uh, that can help us be a unified community, raising our kids well together. And so we are bringing in Dr. Keith McCurdy. He is an absolutely fantastic speaker. He is, uh, in, in, from my view, the best Christian speaker I have heard on raising kids in today's culture and climate, which is why we've sought him out. And so I hope that you'll make time to come out, participate in that seminar. We have tried to make it as convenient as possible by providing an activity for the uh, middle and high school students, a babysitting for the K through five students, an ice cream party sponsored by our PTO. So please do try to come out, even if it's just one parent that can come, uh, it will be worth your while, I promise you that. Um, so see the details below, register. It is important for us to know how many people are coming so that we are prepared uh, with the right number of seats and the right amount of ice cream for the kids. So please register via the link below. The second thing that I wanted to talk about uh, with all of you is our CCS Celebration Day. So those of you that have been part of Coventry for a long time, you know that we do a year-end Celebration Day. Um, the last four years, we've been hosting this at our pool, the San Antonio Swim Club, which we manage and operate. Uh, and uh, it's just an incredible time for families, students, teachers, all of us to come together. It's laid back. The year has been finished. Uh, we can just enjoy one another's company, uh, say some goodbyes as we head out into summer. Um, and so uh, it's, it's just a wonderful way to end our year together. But one of the things that we've been recognizing here is that our school has grown significantly and it makes the way that we've done that event in the past a little bit more challenging. And so we're going to be shifting and changing the way we hold Celebration Day um, in a way that we feel will be a little bit more manageable. So here are the key details. First, school ends at 12 p.m. on the last day of school. And what that means is that if you are a K through 12 student, you have one of three options as to what to do with your kids at 12 o'clock. Option number one is they can ride the bus home as they normally would. Now, again, that does mean that they're going to get home early uh, because they'll get picked up here starting at 12 o'clock. Uh, that's option one. Option two is you can pick them up in the parent pickup line, or uh, which I assume will be a good bit of this happening. Uh, you can pick up your kids and their friends. Maybe their friends' parents can't get off of work early, uh, so you can pick up your kids' friends, uh, and you can head over to the pool together um, right from here, right uh, at 12 o'clock. Uh, that's option two. Option three for K-5 through five students is you can have your kids head to extended care uh, until you can get here. Now, 
it's really important for me to note that extended care is going to be closing at 4 p.m., uh, not 6 p.m. So uh, you do have to get your kids by absolutely no later than 4 p.m., but we hope you'll pick them up earlier uh, and head down to the pool, celebrate the end of the year together. Uh, the reason that we're making this change is that we just uh, felt like the event was getting too big for us to continue to manage that many kids with just our staff at the pool. Um, and so we need parents to come and escort their children and supervise their children at the pool. A uh, couple key details. One, your kids will be eating lunch here at school before 12 o'clock. So uh, please plan on packing their lunches as you normally would. Second thing, there is no cost to attend the pool. You can just go over. It's a CCS only event. There's no community members going to be there. Uh, and there's no cost for any family or students to attend the pool party uh, to celebrate the end of the year. If you haven't been to that facility before, it's a real nice area. There's a, a playground, field space, a beautiful pavilion. Uh, so you can have dinner there if you stay late enough. Uh, there will be some food and refreshments available for purchase in a snack bar there at the pool. Uh, but uh, that's a big change for us. So we hope that you'll participate in the celebration day. There's no registration. We don't need you to tell us if you're coming or not, but we do need all of our K through 12 families to enter their dismissal choices in Pick My Kid. Really important that you get that done right so that we don't send someone home on the bus uh, or fail to send someone home on the bus, etc. We need to make sure that all of our kids have a plan in place. So log into Pick My Kid, let us know who's picking up your kids and when and how uh, the last day of school on Celebration Day. That's it for this week. I hope that you all have a great week. There are a ton of events coming up, so please do review the calendar and the events guide. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you again here soon uh, at CCS. And I'll talk to you again soon on the Eagle Express. Take care.